Hello guys and welcome back to Excel Show Academy. So here again another very interesting question. So this is this question actually we have studied during the lectures and and it has really been asked several times in this ESR question also as well as in the interviews. Okay, so basically if you say uh, like you are interested in microbiology, the same question can be asked. So it is like in bio you can you cannot actually you know uh, differentiate the subjects like more bio by question pucho ya microbiology because everything is related okay so let's see the question here over here explain how the time required to complete replication of the e coli genome is 40 minutes and yet the cells divide in 20 minutes and the second question is why is telomerase not required in e coli cells so guys this is a question uh, the first question I think has been asked in the uh, CSIR, whereas the second question has been asked for the interviews. Okay, so the first question the answer is we have already discussed in uh, lectures. Mein. Now, why, like in case of E. coli, even though the replication of the entire E. coli genome takes 40 minutes, but we say that E. coli divides in 20 minutes. So if you are really listening to my lectures, then you know the answer. So guys, what answer is It is because it initiates the replication before it is completing the first round of replication. Okay? So in the case of E. coli, it reinitiates the replication uh, before the first one is completed. Like, we have learned that in one cell cycle, mein only once the replication should be happening. But only in the case of E. coli, like prokaryotes, this is not happening. Uh, they reinitiate the replication before the first one is completed. Okay. Now, under these conditions, the time which is required for cell division, it can be less, uh, like around 20 minutes. I hope if you remember the figure which is there. Uh, so, suppose this is your E. coli double stranded circular DNA and it is getting replicated. Okay. Now what happens is that before it is completed, जैसे ये replication यहाँ तक पहुँचा, इतने में it starts the another one. So you can see the another uh, replication fork over here. So there are many times what you see is that you will see the two uh, replication fork, uh, replication fork or uh, replication, the original replication is seen. ठीक है? So इस हिसाब से because of this what happens is that even the entire is taking forty. But 20 minutes may you divide that because next 20 minutes may uh, second generation aega, uska already replication start ho chuka hai, hai? So this is the answer for the first part. Now, why is telomerase not recorded in case of E. coli cells? Oh my god, this is such a simple answer. Or iska answer nahi dena is like uh, you know, then I can raise questions on whether uh, the basics are clear to you or not. So, guys, what can be the answer? Just ask yourself without listening further. What will be the answer over here? The simple answer is telomerase is required for the end replication problem. Correct? Agar aapko yaad hai, in the case of eukaryotic chromosomes, we have discussed about the end replication problem. That is the end replication problem, right? We have studied a topic hi padha hai, replication, uh, telomerase. Ka, that is the last actual lecture. Tha. Now, do you think that E. coli has this end replication problem? No, because this is happening only in the case of the linear chromosome. And we know that in the case of E. coli, it is circular chromosome. So E. coli does not have end replication problem. So there is no need of telomerase. Okay, so this was really very simple and direct. It just that you have to remember that E. coli is prokaryos and it has got the circular chromosome okay and that's why it does not have the problem of chromosome length the shortening after each round of replication in the absence of the telomerase because uska circular chromosome and they have got the different replicational machinery so guys what i mean jaldi jaldi me le liya hai uh, but i hope this was really uh, easy and uh, the concepts are clear now okay so thank you for listening let me know if you really like this video and understood the concepts. If you have any doubt, you can ask And uh, if you like the question, please let me know through your like button or through your comments. Thank you guys and please stay safe. And because we need to study together so that we can target our upcoming CSIR exam. Take care guys. Thank you.